You know, here at the Tech Museum, they've got exhibits like this that show off some of the new technologies that revolutionize surgery. Fortunately for me, this is just a dummy. But you know, if you've ever had surgery, you know that one of the worst parts is the recovery. It can sometimes take weeks or months to feel better. Well, that's why a Silicon Valley company called Intuitive Surgical has come up with new technologies to take some of the pain out of the recovery. They're putting robots, that's it, robots in the operating room. Wait till you see this. So you can really see very well. Dr. Frank Lai is a Silicon Valley surgeon, but he sees surgery a different way. It's the latest version. He doesn't operate on a patient. He operates controls at a console and those controls move a robot's surgical arms. And the benefit of the robotic system is that it allows us to see the surgical field much better with more precise movements, and so hopefully um, have uh, potential for better surgical outcomes, urinary continence, less bleeding. El Camino Hospital in Mountain View, California is among dozens of medical centers that invested in Da Vinci, a robotic surgical system that's sort of like a video game. Surgeons watch what they're doing through a 3D visor, and with hand controls like joysticks, they make robots do the work, and their work's far more accurate than human hands. If you look at the data worldwide, uh, patients do uh, come, uh, leave the hospital sooner. They use less narcotics. We have urologists, uh, we have gynecologists, cardiac surgeons, general surgeons, pediatric surgeons, and we even have some uh, surgeons in the ENT uh, area now using uh, robotics. Silicon Valley's Intuitive Surgical built its first operating room robots over 10 years ago. Now it owns the market. Nobody else makes them. And they haven't stopped. Intuitive just unveiled its newest Da Vinci that adds high definition video to give surgeons a real life look. And it really allows surgeons to perform very complex surgery, perform it better, faster, in many cases, and easier. It's easy to learn the robotic ropes. Even a telestrator, like they use on TV football games, it lets instructors point out what to do. There's actually three operative arms. So you have the ability to control up to three operative arms, um, which, as we know, humans don't have three arms. These arms twist and turn like a human wrist. But unlike humans, they're also replaceable. But robots are still just robots. So while a surgeon's at the console, other medical teams stand by the patient to make sure nothing goes wrong. Um, we have people doing those operations with a physician assistant or a trained surgical tech. Depends on the complexity of the operation. But there's always a uh, person or persons next to the patient while the operation is being performed. The technology's not cheap. Robots cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, but hospitals must like the idea. Last year, Intuitive rang up over a hundred million dollars in surgical robot sales. To the point that a lot of hospitals today are buying second, third, and even fourth robots. Uh, we would not be seeing that kind of growth if the technology was not cost effective. Uh, eventually, I think they're talking about putting the system into being wireless, so that, that would be great. Um, and uh, I'm sure as time goes on, the instrumentation will be smaller and smaller. And so hopefully the keyhole size incision we do, maybe it will be even smaller than that. For now, the FDA only allows robots to perform a limited number of surgeries. But as medicine goes more and more high tech, expect robots to go into a lot more operating rooms.